Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day and welcome back to Winders Model Farms. Today we're going to look at the Speccast made Case IH Early Riser Planner in the 12, 16, and 24 row variations. This is all the variations that Speccast has produced this case planner in. First off, I want to show you this real quick. This is what the box looks like. Um, same paragraph there on all of them. They just change like here. It'll say 12, 16, or 24 row model. Um, so that's that. I'd like to point out, starting with the hitch on these things, um, they have a pen that slides through there, and so it can go into either a um, Ertl like hitch that has the big slot or it could go into like more of like an authentic style hitch you can slide it in there without the pin um, the next thing is these stands which I've surprisingly not lost any of them because they don't stay in at all um, they're held in by these little tiny tabs or little tiny pins that hold it in place. Um, I've got this one right here in the up position so if you were you know planting or something you'd have it up like that and then when you park the planter for storage you'd have it down like that. Um, but like I said I would never even use them because they fall off really easy and seem like they'd be great at getting lost. Um, the next thing I'd like to point out is this hydraulic cylinder it raises and lowers very well and um, it actually is able to hold there too hold the planer up so that is nice and one downside though I will say is these chains seem rather large for my liking and they're very long I feel like you know that's a pretty long chain and then this one is two so I feel like that's not as realistic um, but that's what we got so it was nice of them to put something on there so you don't lose those little pieces the all three of them have the same front end um, next you have like the rate this radiator here with a fan on it on this side and it's also got like a hydraulic or not hydraulic it's got a like a fuel tank there um, so that's pretty good detail. The 24 row model does have a fertilizer tank in front of the two hoppers. Um, they all three have the same size hoppers. Um, another thing different about the 24 row model is it does have a wheel on your marker arms here that does roll and it also has a rest for it to rest on whenever it's in the folded up position although I'm not quite reaching it. There you go like that. Um, the marker arms do work on all the planters so they reach out there nicely. The, the decal on them is very good on the tank. They all say 1255 Case IH Early Riser. They're all the same. Um, there goes one of those pins falling out. Let's see if we can zoom in and get that. Well, there we go, 12.55. Um, the 16 row model and the 24 have two wheels on the outside where the 12 row model only has one. Um, that is a difference I've noticed. Also, another difference is 24 row model has two of these fans where there's only one right there on the 16 and one on the 12. Um, great ladder detail and hand railing on the back here to get up to whenever you're filling. Um, a nice um, caution triangle in the back. Um, they did a little bit of detail on the lights in the back but not a lot. Another thing I would like to point out is the tires somewhat raise and lower. There's a little hydraulic cylinder there but I mean they do minimal distance 
and I do have with all three of these like all of them none of the tires raise and lower like the same amount some of them do a very poor job and a couple of them do well but they're very inconsistent but I mean I guess it's better than not moving at all so um, the lids of the hopper tanks look very nice they open and fold really easily you got some nice hydraulic cylinders um, some nice tank detail on the bottom there um, obviously we don't have any tubes running out of there but still good quality um, the row units if you look closely it's just one solid piece but they did do an effort to have like the imprint of the row cleaners um, the openers, the gauge wheels, the row closers so that's pretty nice and it's a lot better than just having a piece of black plastic with no no impression on it so anyways that's about all I got on these planters I highly suggest them um, I think they're great detail whether you like the 12, 16, or 24 um, I will say they're not the cheapest I was able to get a couple of mine on Black Friday deals last Christmas time and one of them actually had a broken unit that I was able to get it really cheap and just glue it right back on so you can't even tell where the unit was broke off I think it was one of these in here um, so yeah I like them and I think they're a great quality planner if you think they're worth the price I would definitely check them out so thanks for watching hope everyone has a great day